Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Excellent. So, how was your day, Arturo? Um, very busy. Very busy? Okay. But was it good? Was it okay, at least? Um, but uh, I feel very good. Okay. Excellent. So, how about the diploma? Did you get it? Yeah, I get it. Nice. Okay. Great. Let's see, Lorena, how are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I hear you. I'm fine. Excellent. Sorry, Loren, I couldn't hear the last part. No, I was, I was fine just this thing. All day I have been with cold. Cold, I like it. Oh, cold. yeah. Yes, very cold. Yes, has it been raining there? Yes, all day. Yeah, and same was, here. Yeah, I was in, in the street making uh, too much. Oh. How do you say? Oh, errands, running errands. Okay. Errands. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty good. Let me just write that phrase in the chat. That is running errands. Hacer mandados. Okay. Thank you. Running errands. Running Okay, hello Mauricio, how are you? I'm fine teacher, thanks, and you? Great, I'm doing well, thanks. How was okay. your day? Uh, very busy day, busy day. Okay, so you had... Uh, no, I didn't. You didn't? I didn't go to my work. Today, um, I, I work in my home, <laughs> in right. a platform too, mm -hmm. and I finish. Great, congratulations. Yes, I, I have the certificate and all. <laughs> all right, that's nice. Yes, yes, and, and I do the homework. Excellent. Oh. What? They can hear you. You you will be the first one to tell us. Ah. Um, definitely, right? <laughs> okay, so yes. Mauricio, you're the chosen. <laughs> es el escogido, so. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. All right. How are you, Jasmine? Okay. Fine, teacher. Very good. How was your day? Um, easy too, but fine. Great. And how about the platform? Did you finish too? Yes, I completed. Oh um, yeah, you, you showed me yesterday, I right? I remember. Yes. Nice. Did you get your certificate too? Yes, yes. Okay. Excellent. Good evening, Isabel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thanks. So how are you doing with the platform, Isabel? I am done. You're done. Okay, nice. Did you also get your certificate? Yes. All right. Excellent. Congrats. And Karen, how was your day? 
Hello, I'm fine. Uh, we slept a lot with my son. Oh. We got up at 10.30. <laughs> it was very okay. cold. Yeah, that's very nice that you had some time to rest and just some sleep yeah. with, with this rain. <laughs> it's very nice, right? <laughs> very relaxing. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, that's nice. And how about the platform, Karen? Did you finish? Yes, I complete the platform. Okay. And I, 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 I have the 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 certificate. The, the certificate, yes. Okay, congratulations. All right. So I think we may start now. How about we go ahead and start with the class? So welcome to our almost last class. We are just missing two classes today and tomorrow, right? We're almost done. So welcome everybody. Okay. We are going to start by talking about our perfect vacation. So let's see. Okay. So Mauricio, are you going to start? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. Yes. <laughs> then Lorena, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My perfect vacation. Uh, I had I had a great vacation. I take a flight to Catalonia and visit the uh, No Camp Stadium, where where play the best team in the world is Barcelona FC, and and also visit the La Rampla near the plaza of Catalonia where can enjoy the the kioscos or kioscos and the restaurants in in our and finally I visit Barceloneta Beach where I took many photos and then take a flight to back in my home. All right. It sounds like a perfect vacation. Very nice. Yes, it's my perfect vacation for me. Okay, Thanks. pretty cool. Um, just a couple of Thanks. things, Mauricio. Remember the past of take, took, right? I took a flight. Yeah, yeah, it took, uh, okay, I took a flight. Yes, okay. and also you uh, say- I have um, a, some. Kioscos or kiosk? I yes. don't know what to say. That would be kiosk, as you said. Kios, yes. Yep, exactly. Okay. And then also you said the stadium where the best team plays, okay? Yes, plays, yes. The best team yes. plays. Okay, pretty good. Thank the you, Mauricio. Team plays. So next okay, one, thanks, teacher. who's next? Okay, Lorena. <laughs> Lorena. <laughs> It was in 2019. We went with my family in an airplane to Panama. Then we took a cruise to some countries like Bonaire, Colombia, Curacao, Aruba. We had the opportunity to enjoy every time because in the cruise we had a lot of different kind of food, dessert, salad, food drink alcoholic and alcoholic and every time we had shows and time to swimming to walk to read or just to rest online every day we had too much fun like live shows movies dancing shows singing shows casino and we could and we could visit each country because the truth gave us enough time for people to get to know the place. We could go sightseeing, sightseeing, go shopping, go eating, go hiking, or just walk around the cruise. The time we spent on the cruise were seven days, and all of them were wonderful. Excellent, Lorena. That sounds very nice. So... <laughs> Just a couple of things. Um, we say we enjoyed every moment, okay? Huh? We enjoyed every moment. I think you said every time. 
like you could say every month instead. Okay. And also remember we say at night, at night. At night, no at night. Uh, I think you said on the night or something like that. I think I heard it. Yes, but you say at night, at night. That's what you say. The correct way, at night. And also whenever we use verbs with to, we use them in the base form, to swim, to dance. Okay. 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 All right, so that's it. Thank you, Lorena. Let's see who's next. Me. That is Karen. Go Karen. ahead, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, my last vacation was very funny. We went to the beach with my son and husband first. We lost on the way around 20 minutes, but after that we found the place we wanted. We arrived early and we took our breakfast. My son enjoyed the pool with his dad because I can swim. We went to the beach and spent a lot of time, time over there. We took lunch and took a rest on the hammock. Overall, we had a beautiful day. Great. Very good, Karen. Um, just a little thing. We say we got lost. We got lost. Okay. We got lost. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Next participant. Do I have any volunteers? Come on, yeah. Jose Arturo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, okay, Arturo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, the last vacation was great. On July 6th, my girlfriend and I went to the Santana Volcano. We had the most awesome hiking, and we saw a lot of wild animals. So it was a hard entire journey, but we had fun. When we stayed on a peak, we enjoyed a picnic and we talked about amazing view. That day will be unforgettable. Very nice. Thank you, Arturo. Great. Okay, who's next? How about Jasmine? Jasmine, do you have something to, pre to present? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the perfect vacation for me is a tour in Visa. I want to visit the beautiful beaches and play on the white sand, eat delicious traditional food, and also visit uh, local places in the area. Um, also enjoy the night party um, of this uh, of this place and um, um, so that. Okay, very good, Jasmine. It sounds fun. Let's see, Anna Ruth. Do you have something to share with us? Okay. My life, my last vacation was the most beautiful time of the year because I could rest, sleep a little more time without worrying about the work or housework. But the most pleasant thing was was to meet my family. We had a picnic. We went hiking to a crystal clear, clear waterfall. Um, we went swimming. After spending such an enjoyable time, we returned to share a delicious dinner. It was a very Pleasant adventure. I hope that soon it will repeat itself. 
Okay, very nice. Thank you, Ana Ruth. Um, just one word, you say it, um, pleasant, okay? Pleasant, it was a pleasant vacation, I think you said. Okay. All right, thank you. So next one, let's see, how about Laura? Laura, tell us about your perfect vacation. Okay. My dream vacation. I really love to go to Hawaii on vacation. I enjoy to much walk over the sand in a sunny day. I cook my own pupusas with fish and shrimps there under the moon because nobody was able to cook delicious pupusas in the whole island. <laughs> I love to show my bikini with yellow dots. It was an amazing vacation. Very Is good. That... Okay, excellent, <laughs> Laura. Just um, one thing you say on a sunny day, okay? On a sunny day. That's mm -hmm. it. On a sunny day, okay. Yes. Very good, thanks. Isabel, do you have something to present? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. I had a perfect vacation. I visited Seattle and I ate uh, a lot of food. Um, and also, I studied for two years at Linwood High School. It was amazing. Great. Excellent, Isabel. Thank you. Let's see who's missing. Noemi, are you ready? My life vacation. I went to the beach El Tunco. I was with my parents last Christmas. My relatives came to visit me. Thank that, you. That's it. Okay. Excellent. So just a couple of things. We say relatives. Relatives. Also, you say to visit. En ese uh -huh. caso, no necesitamos cambiar el verbo al pasado porque dice eh, my relatives came to visit. Entonces, okay. el verbo principal ya lo hemos cambiado, que es came. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks to you. Okay, I think everybody has participated. So thank you very much for doing the homework and practicing English this way. It's nice. So let's remember about the past of be. So we said that we have two different forms. The first one is was. We use it for I, he, she, and it. And the second form we have is where. You wear, we wear, they wear, we say. So let's make some examples to remember about it. Can you help me, please? Um, I was very happy. I was very happy. Great. And I was hungry. I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Any other? He was in the classroom. He was in the classroom. In the classroom. Great. Another. We example. were pretty tired. We were pretty tired. Nice. Any other? It was hot. It was hot. Okay, so pretty good. That's how we use the, the verbs was or were, right? Let's see, Isabel says in the chat, it was a dog. Very good, Isabel. Nice, so that's how we use the verb be in the past with was or were, right? So now let's move on to some more practice. So let me tell you some sentences 
and you are going to tell me if I complete them using was or were. So the first one is I bored was or were. Was. I was bored. Was. Exactly. I was bored. Next one. He on holiday was or were. Was. 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 Right. He was on holiday. Then we have we at home. Was or were? Where? We were. Where? We were at home. Next one says, you happy. You were. You were. You were happy. You were happy. And the last one, she at the disco. What? She was. She was. She was, she was at the disco, right? Okay, now let me tell you some sentences in the present and you have to change them to the past. So let's see the first one. I am seven years old. I was, I was, I was seven, seven years old. Seven years old. Seven years old. Yeah. Sure. Tell me. I don't see your screen. Oh yeah, I'm not showing anything. It's all white now, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. just reading, so listen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so next one is, you are my best friend. You are my best friend. You were my best friend. You were my best friend. Were my best friend. My best friend. My best friend. Yes, you were my best friend. Next one, what? your bike is in the garage. You were. Where? You were. Your bike. Yeah, it says your bike was. is in the garage. Your, your bike was where you you were bike. Your bike was. So let me grade it. Your bike is in, in the garage. Is in the garage. Your bike was in the garage. You, Exactly. Bike your bike was in the garage. We change it to your bike was in the garage. We say in was because we're talking about the bike. So it's it. It, it was in the garage, right? Mm. The subject. Yes, the subject would be your, your bike. bike. Your bike. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Next one. The boys are very kind. The boys were. The boys were. Very kind. were. No, the boys was. The boys were or the was. Boys. Where? 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 Right. Where? Oh, where? They... We're very kind. So we're talking about the boys. So that is a they, right? They were very kind. Next one, the bottle is on the table. The bottle, the bottle was on the table. Exactly, the bottle, the bottle was, was, was on, the table. on the table. Very good. So now let's talk about the places we were at yesterday. So let's see, I'm going to start by asking Arturo. Arturo, where were you yesterday? at 7 a.m. Um, um, cook, I cooked the, cooked the food. But where, where were you? What place? Um, at, at home. Okay, so you say I was at uh, home. Seven. I was home. Great. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to ask and answer questions. So in order to complete this question, you need to add a specific time, like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., um, 10 in the morning, 2 p.m., or 4 in the afternoon. At noon, you can also say, just add a specific time of the day and you ask somebody um, here in the group, okay? So let's see, Arturo. Ask a classmate of yours. Mm, um, so Jasmine. 
Where were you yesterday at at 3 p.m. yesterday? Uh, okay. I was at home at 3 p.m. Okay, Jasmine, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, uh, Mauricio Trujillo. Where, uh, where were you yesterday at 5 o'clock? 5 p.m. I, I, I was working to the 3 p.m. or? No, 5, 5. Um, five, five o'clock. Yes. Okay. I was, I was at work to the five o'clock. Okay, Mauricio. I was working at five. Okay. At five. Okay. Yep. I was <laughs> working at five. Okay. Thanks. All right. So uh, now you ask. Uh, okay. And let me see. Uh, 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 Lorena, where where were you yesterday at two o'clock? At I two o'clock. Remember, let me remember where I was. At two o'clock, I was at the bank. Okay. All right, Lorena, ask somebody, please. To uh, Jasmine, where were you yesterday at one o'clock? Just Jasmine has already participated. So how about um we ask Laura? Uh, Laura, okay. Laura, where were you yesterday at one p.m.? I was in my at in my house. Okay. Yes. Laura, ask Anna Ruth, please. Anna Ruth, where were you yesterday at five club? I was um, at home. Okay, Anna Ruth, can you ask Karen? Where were you yesterday at uh, nine o'clock? PM. PM. Okay. Uh, I'm. I'm. I was in the class. English. English, English class. class. English class. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good, Karen. Yes. Now you ask Isabel, please. Okay. Isabel, where were you today at 8 eight a.m. o'clock? I was at grandma's house. Okay. okay. Isabel, ask Noemi. Okay. Noemi, where were you yesterday at 3, 3 p.m.? I was in Dollar City store. All right, Noemi, can you ask Roberto, please? Roberto, where were you yesterday at 4 p.m.? I was in the interview, then the job. Okay, you were in a job interview. Nice, Roberto, oh. thanks. Okay. So let's continue by making some excuses. So how about uh, we imagine that we were late to, so, to some place, maybe to the class. So you're late. What's the excuse? And so much traffic, maybe. Oh, there was much traffic. The internet is bad. The internet is bad. Okay. Power on the uh, internet. I was, eating? I was eating. Okay. 
Well, I was sick. I was sick. The travel on my country. Can you repeat that, Roberta, please? The trouble that my company, computer. Oh, I had, um, I had trouble with my computer. Oh, I had trouble, yeah. Okay. Any other excuse? I was sleeping. Ooh. I was sleeping, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or you can say, I overslept. Mm -hmm. Slept would be um, like when you have to wake up at seven, but you don't do it, you wake up at 7.30. <laughs> so that is oversleeping, okay? Levantarse okay. tarde. All okay. right. Any other? I think somebody go to the chat. Isabel says I was, I was work. Stref stressful. Okay, I was working. Very good. I was take a shower. I was taking a shower. Taking. What is it, Lorena? I was talking on the telephone. I was talking on the phone or on the telephone. Okay, very good. So now another situation. Let's see. You didn't come to the party. What happened? What's the excuse? I was I sick. Have to work. I was sick. I had work. <laughs> Don't exist. Excuse. <laughs> yeah, no excuses for that, right? <laughs> Any other? Uh, Sorry, Lorena, I couldn't um, hear you. I forgot, it. I forgot it. I forgot it. My girlfriend is. My girlfriend was angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my girlfriend was angry. <laughs> My car Yo, is broken. Didn't let me go, you say, hey, Arturo. <laughs> my girlfriend didn't let me go. <laughs> yes. My, my girlfriend car said is no. Broken. What is it? My car is broken. My car is broken. Okay. I didn't know knew the place. I didn't know the place. So I didn't. Funny? Okay. I didn't know the place. I didn't the have or... money. I didn't have money. Money. I didn't have money. Money. <laughs> Primera que dice. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so how about the situation? So you didn't bring the homework. What happened? Um, oh, I, I saw. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> my homework. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The dog ate it. I came late to my work. I came. I was a headache. Work. I had a headache. Any other? I lost my notebook. I lost my notebook. <laughs> I was busy. I was busy. I lost it. I lost it. I forgot in my other bag. I forgot it in my other bag. Okay, very well. 
Just, I wanted to mention about this. I came late from work. That is when you get home from work, right? So you were working all day, then you come home from work. But then in the morning, you go to work, okay? You go to work in the morning, then you come back from work. Hay una diferencia okay. entre decir to work, porque eso es cuando vamos, I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. Y cuando okay. venimos de regreso de nuestro trabajo, decimos from work, ¿ok? From work, ok. All right, um, so I think we have one more situation that would be, you forgot your wedding anniversary. What's the excuse? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot it. You just forgot it, ok. Can you repeat it, Lorena? I never forgot that. Oh, you never forget I'm it? Okay. Not. Good for yeah. you. <laughs> Maybe you had a lot of work. Like, I had a lot of work. I was... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe I was very busy, you could say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> any other? I was sick, okay. I got that day confused. I got confused with the date. Oh, with the date. All right. We were angry. We were angry. All right. <laughs> and the next one says, you didn't give a birthday present to your best friend. What happened? Uh, I, I didn't have money. I didn't have money. I didn't have money. I didn't have money. Okay. Anything else? I don't know what what give her. What give him? My friendship is your is your gift. What was the other one? Any other excuse? My friendship is your gift. Oh, my friendship is your, your gift? Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other excuse? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. All right. Okay, pretty well. I uh, forget. I forgot. Okay, very good. So we're good at making excuses, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about the past of B, but in the negative form. So what do we have? So, well, we continue using the same forms, was and were, but we add not. So we have was not for I, he, she, and it. And then we have the contracted form, wasn't. Wasn't. Was not, wasn't. 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 And then we have the other form, which is we're not. That one is for you, we, and they. And in the contracted form, it becomes weren't. 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 So please repeat, I was not. I was not. I was not. He was not. He was not. She was not. She was not. She was not. It 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 was not. You were not. We were, were not. We were not. We were not. We were not. They were not. 
They were not. not. Okay. And the contracted forms wasn't. Repeat. Wasn't. Wasn't. Weren't. 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 All right. So the structure that we follow for making sentences is this one. We have subject, then the was not or were not, and the complement. And also we can replace them, the was not and were not for wasn't or weren't. For example, in the sentence, I was not at home, I was at work. Can you read the next one, Mauricio? She wasn't ang angry, she was just bored. Thank you, bored. And bored. the next bored. one, Karen. Yo tengo que, que inventarla o la puesta en algún lado usted. Perdón, um, you just me perdí. Read it. So la, que, la que está acá. They were not. No la veo. Really? Can no. A usted la veo, pero others... no veo su pantalla. Really? No. Sí, yes. se ve. Y los demás sí la están viendo. Sí. Y como... yes. 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 Pon, pon, yes. pon la pantalla yes. de la tiche. Yes. De... Yes. Sí. Corra, corra la pantalla al, sí, al, al segundo Ay, ya la vi, punto. ya ya la vi, claro. perdón. Okay. Okay. Eh, eh, la tercera. Yes. Uh, they were not in a party. They were at their parents' house. Thank you. And we have a last one. It says you weren't at the mall. So you see, we use the subject first. I, she, they, or you. Then there was not, were not or wasn't or weren't. And then the complement, so it's pretty easy. So now it's time to practice. We are going to make some negative and affirmative sentences. Let me check the time, okay. So we are going to have five minutes to go to the breakout rooms and make sentences using the information in the chart. How come? Well, here you have, for example, in the first one, it, that is the subject. Then we have very cold for making a positive sentence or an affirmative sentence. And for making a negative sentence, we have the word hot. So how come? So I make a sentence like this. It was very cold, it wasn't hot. It was very cold, it wasn't hot. Next one, he was so happy, he wasn't sad. So you see first an affirmative sentence, then you make a negative one. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay. You can yes. use because. I'm um, sorry, can you repeat that, Arturo? And we can use because between um, positive yeah, and negative. To... Well, not really. In that case, if you want to join them, you can use but. Okay. Yes. So you could say like it was very cold, but it wasn't hot. But. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or and and it wasn't cold. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send a picture to the chat so you have all the information and let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. So Mauricio, can you accept the invitation? Mauricio, can you hear me? Todos. Todo lo que tenemos aquí en el dibujo. Oh, that, that's okay. Let me see the picture in the chat and and the star
Okay. And uh, the first is is it it was very it was cold. Very cold. But it, it wasn't was hot. It wasn't very hot. cold. Uh, it's, it's in positive and negative is wasn't. It was, was, wasn't, wasn't hot. Okay, the second one is he. He, he was, uh -huh. the dog wasn't slow. Uh -huh. uh, my sister in love was at Canada. Was Canada? Mm -hmm. My sister in law wasn't Eden. at it, Italy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eden. In that case, we um, use in, okay? My sister in law was yeah. in Canada, she wasn't in Italy. Okay. He wasn't on. Um, okay. okay, continue. Caroline uh, was a student. Caroline mm -hmm. um, was was wasn't teacher. The next one, he was too happy. He wasn't sad. Good. The dog, the dog is was fast. It so uh, was raining. It wasn't sunny. We were classmates, but we were By the, the waiter is raining. It's raining. And the, the waiter the is, not is not sunny. Funny, uh huh. Correcto, exactly. Um, just we, you say the weather, okay? Uh, uh, the, we the weather. The weather. <laughs> the weather is raining. The weather mm. is not sunny. Not sunny. Yes, that would be in the present. How about the past? We are class classmates. Um, we but are not. Make them in the past. Use was or were. Ah. Oh. We were class class classmates. classmates? Mm -hmm. We weren't friends. Exactly. Siguiente. My siblings. Next. My siblings. My yeah, siblings. My siblings. Oh. My siblings. Siblings is the word for brothers and sisters. Oh. oh. <laughs> so um, oh my when we say brothers, we refer only to men. When we say sisters, we, we refer only to women. But when we say siblings, it's both sisters and brothers. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Entonces sería, my siblings were, were excited, was depressed. My siblings were excited. They? Uh-huh. They, they wasn't depressed? They weren't. They were. They weren't. They weren't. Weren't we? They weren't. No se pronuncia. The the press. The press. Um. Depressed. Depressed. Yes. They weren't okay. depressed. All right. They so we're weren't. getting back in just a couple of seconds. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, so welcome back. Let's see, um, first of all, tell me, do you have any doubts or questions about the vocabulary or the sentences? No? Um, no, no. Lorena, I think you're talking, but your microphone is off. Right. Sibling, we know, we're not sure if, if it is uh, hermana, sisters, or, or brother. Yes. Yes. Hermanas. So in the case of siblings, we talk about both brothers and sisters. And then, sisters. because if we only say brothers, that would be only men, right? Hermanos. If we say sisters, mm -hmm. that would be only women. Solo mujeres, hermanas. But if we have both brothers and sisters, we can say that they are our siblings. Siblings. Yes. Both women and men. Okay, so let's see. Help me with the sentences. We have, it was very cold. It wasn't hot. Next one, Mauricio. He, he was so happy, wasn't sad. He wasn't sad. Very good. Lorena, next one. It so was fast. It wasn't slow. Great. Karen, next one, please. Karen? Hello, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Uh, okay, uh, ¿cuál es? My sister-in-law. Okay, my sister-in-law uh, where? Where or was? In it's for she. Was. was my right? sister-in-law was in Canada. Mm -hmm. Uh, my sister-in-law were in Italy. Wasn't in wasn't. Italy, okay? Wasn't. My okay. sister-in-law is a woman, so that is she. She was in Canada and she wasn't in Italy. Okay, thank you, okay. Karen. Next one, Arturo. Caroline was a <laughs> But she wasn't a teacher. She wasn't a teacher. In this case, you need the A. Caroline was a student. She wasn't a teacher. Okay? Thank you, Arturo. Next one, Jasmine. Okay. Um, the, weather, um, the weather was rainy and it wasn't sunny. Very good. It wasn't sunny. Next one, Noemi. We weren't class, class, classmates. They weren't friends. Very good. We were classmates. We weren't friends. And the last friends. one, Ana Ruth. My siblings were excited. They weren't depressed. Very good. They weren't depressed. Okay, so now let's continue by talking about, well, our next lesson objective, which is by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of the verb be. So we have already studied the affirmative and the negative. Now let's take a look at questions. So first of all, we have a sentence over here. Melissa was very nervous. So what do I do in order to make a question? Well, you have to change the order of the elements. So you take that was and you move it to the beginning of the sentence. And you also move the subject, Melissa in this case, to the second, the, the second um, space, right? Or the second part. So we have 
Was Melissa very nervous? Was Melissa very nervous? So you see how we change it, right? The subject comes to the second place and the verb was or were comes first. So this is the structure we have for the questions that would be was or were, then the subject, then the complement and the question mark. Here I have another example that would be, was it a good trip? Was it a good trip? And the answers could be, yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Let's see the next example. Can you help me to read it, please, Noemi? Seria. The second one, were you? Sí. Were you were you at your mom's house yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Exactly. Thank you, Noemi. Next one, Jasmine. Where take an aunt at the theater? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Great, thank you. So you see, we always start with was or where, then we have the subject, and at last we add the complement. And for answering, remember we have was or wasn't, where or weren't. So now we are going to make some questions. Here I have some sentences, and I want you to make questions. So we have, you were ready for the trip. What's the question? Were you ready? Were for you trip? ready for the trip? Exactly. Were you ready for the trip? Do you know the meaning of trip? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Our next one says. Sarah was there. Was, was Sarah, Sarah, Sarah there. there? Was Sarah there? Very well. Number three. The tourists were from Panama. Where? Where? Tourists, where tourists from, from Panama. 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 Okay. Now we have number four. My dad was so angry at me. Was my dad, was was my dad, 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 dad so angry, angry at, at, me. at me? Okay. Number five says, it was a nice dream. Was it, was, it, nice was, it, was, it, was it a nice dream? Was it a nice dream? A nice dream. dream. Okay. Number six, you were on the yellow bus. Were you, were on, you the on the yellow bus? bus? Yellow, yellow bus. bus. Yellow bus. Number seven, you were busy last night. Were you, were you, were you, were you busy last night? Last night? Were you busy last night? Okay, the next one we have is Anthony and you were invited to the party. Were Anthony and you invited to the party? Where and then you come back to the floor. Okay, number nine. The answer was incorrect. Was the answer incorrect? Exactly. Was the answer, was the answer incorrect? incorrect. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and we have one last one. It says, Sophie was very embarrassed. Was, was Sophie, Sophie very, very embarrassed? Embarrassed. embarrassed. Very embarrassed. Do you know the meaning of embarrassed? Yes. Um, what is it? Apenada, o sea, avergonzada. Exactly. Pretty good. Okay, so that's the way we make questions in the simple past of the verb be, okay? Any doubts about this? Maybe not? Okay. So that will be all for today's class. Let me just tell you about the diplomas. I need you to check if you are able to download your, your diploma or your certificate. And also check what it says, if your name is correctly written. And also if there's a sign on it, okay? Si lleva la firma. And also check if it's only one page. Revise por favor que sea una sola hoja. Ahí debe ir toda la información, incluyendo firma y todos los datos que lleva el diploma. Porque me han reportado por ahí algún caso donde va en dos paginitas, entonces eso no debería de pasar, oye. Por si acaso. Luna. Es una Teacher, sola. perdón. Dígame. Teacher, so, so una cosa. Eh, bueno, yo sé que eso no afecta en nada, pero, pero so las fechas no, no concuerdan. Ok, del 14 ah. de octubre, por decirle algo, hasta el 14 de, de noviembre. Si terminamos mañana, ¿no? Sí, exacto. La fecha es diferente debido a unas cuestiones administrativas, pero en realidad okay. pues eso no, no nos afecta en sí en cuanto al, a la realización del, del curso, ¿verdad? Sí, comprendo. Le hemos puesto la fecha al No, yo sé, si solo porque... Por... Dígame. Perdón, solo porque como yo lo he puesto en la, en la nueva inscripción, entonces como que eh, no pegaría. Entonces, para como me siento como que estoy mintiendo, pero yo sé que no, no es con, con Alicia. Ambas no, no, partes, por supuesto. Exacto, no se preocupe, son cuestiones administrativas meramente, así que no hay ningún problema okay. con que lo utilicen así, no hay, no hay inconveniente con eso, ¿ok? Ok, gracias, En mi caso solo tiene un apellido. Solo un apellido eh, tiene los dos nombres. Y sí, tiene las dos páginas. Los, los, las firmas están en la segunda en página. En la segunda página. Bueno, entonces eso no debería de pasar. Ahorita mismo les voy a compartir yo el número de Jonathan. Él es el, el encargado okay. del programa, entonces le pueden escribir mañana a los que les pase esto de tener el diploma en dos paginitas para que les puedan corregir, porque tiene que ser una sola. Con respecto okay. al, al, al apellido, el mío también aparece solo con un apellido, no habría problema. Solo uno. No, en realidad no hay ningún problema. Lo único que si ustedes quisieran para los próximos cursos que les aparezcan los dos apellidos, pues igual le pueden escribir a Jonathan para que en los próximos cursos pues ya les tengan el nombre completo. Ok. okay. All right. So that's it. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good, good night, night, teacher. teacher. Have a good, good night, night, everybody. everybody. Good, good night. night. Good 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 night. Good